Hi everyone and welcome back to the Flues channel. Today we'll be talking about the various ways how airports make you spend more money. Airport parking. As you know, airport parking is not the most cost effective way, but sometimes the only way. Now for the airport, this is just utilizing empty space that they have. For example, Heathrow Airport currently charges $240 for one week's worth of parking. And that number being one of the highest prices out there. Once you have parked your car, you go over to check-in and security. Now, with technology advancing, everything being automated, usually now you only have to check in online or at a automated counter. This is all in an effort to make sure that you get through security as fast as possible, not to catch your flight on time, but to spend more time shopping at the airport. Since passengers usually arrive between two to three hours early to the airport to make sure to catch their flight, they end up having a lot of spare time before takeoff. This gives the airport a great window to convince you into spending more money. After security, you usually have to walk through duty-free. Now, many people make the mistake into thinking that everything in duty free is a great deal because of course in duty free you don't pay tax items such as alcohol and tobacco which are usually taxed very highly are a great way to save money however a lot of people make the mistake into buying things like an oversized Toblerone thinking that they are getting a bargain which they tend to not because a lot of the things in duty free is actually marked up. After you go through duty free you find yourself in the area where even more shopping can be done. Now in certain airports the departure gate isn't announced till 25 to 90 minutes before the actual takeoff so that forces you to stay in that area where the announcement monitors are so you can find out where your gate is meaning that you are also still surrounding yourself with all of the restaurants, coffee shops. Now, because you came to the airport two to three hours early, you might feel a little hungry. So you decide to go to one of the many restaurants that are on offer at the airport. However, there is actually an 18% markup on airport food. And that is mainly to do with the fact that a lot of these restaurants have to pay a high price to actually have their location at the airport because it's such a high traffic area. So due to rent being high, the food also has to be marked up. Finally, your gate number gets called and you can go to your gate and stop spending money. So next time you go to an airport, try and think of this video to help you save some money. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.